was a long trip. Wow. I slept like a rock. Mmm. It's toasty and super comfortable in here. I don't want to get up. <laughs> wow. But I have to get going. Get myself some breakfast. Oh. Good morning again. <laughs> well, it's cold outside, but it's really nice, comfortable in here. I just have to prepare breakfast and uh, organize a little bit. It's been, uh, I had a guest over and I left in a hurry, so I couldn't organize before I left. So you see, <laughs> Uh, my RV at its worst everything is completely messy but uh, it's not a bad thing because that shows how I live here so you have a little bit of a glimpse of my daily routine uh, I came in from a flight that had a medical emergency in it so took a little bit of uh, of my energy so when I came here I was exhausted so I just uh, crashed like a rock and slept good and, uh, and now I feel better and tomorrow morning really early in the morning I have another flight so today I am going to meet up a friend later on and go for dinner but until then I need to organize this place and uh, get some breakfast going. Mornings, I'm a total tea person. I don't do well with coffee. I never did. Coffee for me, maybe only a cup in the afternoons, like at five o'clock or something like that in the evening. But mornings, I have to start my day with tea. Typically Earl Grey, but today I had uh, English breakfast, so cheers. Oof, it's hot. <sighs> now I have to uh, fix my bed while my tea is uh, cooling off a little bit. And then breakfast. The problems of having a corner bed always is that you can't get to that side, the wall side. And you have to somewhat climb on top of the bed and work your way back in groups. First you fix the top, then you go backwards. So that's what I'm going to do now. Well, that wasn't the best bed making episode ever, but it will do. I'm not expecting any guests. It's 70 degrees inside. Look at that. That's toasty. Outside is 34. And 
I am super uber comfortable in here with my tea. Did you guys see my little Christmas decoration? How cool is that? It's a silver tree and it's got even lights. Look. Wow. How pretty that is. Well, I had to uh, make it a little festive in here and bring the holiday spirit. It just adds a little character and warmth, you know, makes it feel homey. And I also have these. How cool is this? And a little Christmas tree with a star. And another one of these. It's cute. But look at that. It's my Christmas tree. I'm flying to San Francisco tomorrow. And after, I think, 20 hours layover, I'll be back. And I'll be done for a few days. And then I have another marathon starting in early December. And it's going to be pretty much trip after trip until the 21st of December. Because as of the 22nd until the New Year's, I'm taking time off to go and uh, join a family in Europe uh, for Christmas and New Year's. So I need to work and squeeze all my time in during the uh, first two, three weeks of December. And once that complete, I'm free and here I come Europe. Do you like traveling? And if you do, what is your uh, first choice of uh, transportation means? Airplanes, cars, RVs, um, what else am I missing? Trains, boats, mine is airplanes, obviously. But then my second best is my RV. I travel with it all the time. It's so weird. I never vlog and I know that I should share more of my uh, experiences with my RV. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I do have a 2015 Itasca Viva 23L. I think it's one of the best small Class C or some would consider this a Class B plus out there. This is like phenomenal. It doesn't have any slide outs. It's got all the amenities that you want in an RV in a much compact form. And it's got this um, European design aspect to it. So it's very modern, chic, uh, classy look, the European style. And believe it or not, this is a 24 feet RV that sits on a Ram ProMaster 3500 chassis. And this can sleep six people. Two in the bed that you've seen earlier in the corner. There's a loft bed that comes down on a press of a button, sleeps two. And this dinette also turns into a full-size bed, so I can sleep six people here. I've seen um, this new uh, bedding system. They have this inflatable bed that goes and lays on top of your front driver and passenger seats, and that becomes another single bed. So if I wanted to, I could create seven beds here for seven adults. That's crazy. Well, obviously I don't want that many people here, but if needs be, totally can be done. So the Itasca Viva 23L is also known as the Winnebago Trend. And I think they got discontinued in 2018 or 2019. And I think it's a shame. I think Winnebago should bring them back. They're phenomenal uh, RVs. Um, as I said, very comfortable, very compact. It's got everything that you need. A dry bathroom, uh, heating, AC, uh, full kitchen, microwave, um, a dinette with a expendable table. This table actually opens up and becomes a big, nice table with six uh, seats on it. The front uh, two seats swivel back. So you can have here literally six people for dinner, cards, breakfast, whatever you want. Two TVs, one is over there that comes out of its spot and um, swivels to either direction, either to, towards the dinette or towards the bedroom. Another TV here hiding in this cabinet. Let me show you. Another one right here, which makes this RV fully equipped for all kinds of things. Uh, in my experience, this 2015 didn't come with any solar power. I added it and it was super easy. I added a, a 175 watts uh, Renogy Flex panel, one of them, onto my roof. Uh, drilled a hole right here behind the structure of the loft bed. 
brought in this cable, as you can see. It, I know it's ugly, it's not hidden, but this is all you see anyways. And then I have the EcoFlow uh, solar generator that sits right here next to me on the floor. And it runs all my things here from AC to DC, lights, heating, refrigerator, you name it. And it's uh, working perfect. In the summertime, it works better because during the summer, obviously, we have uh, a longer period of the sun up in the sky which helps you charging your batteries and uh, typically the 175 watts is okay uh, for me you know depending how much usage I take out of it obviously the AC I don't use because that's a power killer uh, for my battery um, instead I do have um, a modular um, AC that I can use and that's on 12 volt and that that works great so between everything that I spend as far as wattage and the uh, intake, I get by just fine. But I think I want to add another 175 watts, another uh, flex uh, solar panel, so that during the winter time I can double my intake. As you all know, the intake during the winter time is significantly lower. So that would help me to boost my intake and charge my batteries faster. Let me know in the comment what kind of a rig do you have or what kind of a setup did you end up uh, upgrading anything or not. And I should give you actually a tour of my rig after all these upgrades that I had done to it. What do you think? Should I fix one up really quick? Let me know in the comments. Anyways, I'm done with my tea. Now I can get dressed and get going with my day. But I'll get back to you tonight so you can see how I turn this place to a night mode. Perfect dinner, with great company. That's the beauty of uh, RV life because you'll be in places where you have different friends in different cities and you meet them and you go and hang out and um, enjoy social activities. Uh, ready to call the night. It's cold outside, even colder than earlier. So I had to cover the front cab area separated from the uh, the back uh, with the insulated uh, curtains just taking the chill off with my uh, Mr. Heater Just taking the chill off. I'm not gonna run this all night long and Yes, I have a window crack open for the oxygen, but that, again, this is just to take the chill off and I'm gonna edit this video. I have a very early report tomorrow morning. So gonna hit the hay early tonight living the flight attendant life. It's the best when you go home. Like and comment. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and I'll see you on the road.